Yo, yo, it's your boy, Mr. Replay, bringing you an unboxing video of the Google Stadia, the Premier Edition. We're going to jump right into this. For those that don't know, the Google Stadia, oh, Google dropped their own console platform trying to enter in the world of gaming. And basically what it was, what it is, is playing games, aka streaming through the cloud, so no CDs. Um... Essentially, they were trying to eliminate the load time and everything like that. Oh, that's and this also just to let y'all know. This also is my first time seeing and witnessing the um, how it come package and everything like this. So this is my also a first impression video as well. So further ado, boom. We got that Google Stadia Premier Edition. This is a nice box. It's a nice packaging. I like it. One place for all the ways to play. Now they gave me the option. I bought this. They did not send it to me. They did not sponsor me. This is out of my own free will and because I was willing to try this. Uh, but when I originally purchased it, uh, they also offer different color for the controllers. Um, if you buy a second additional, um, I like to try items out, new devices. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read the specs on the Stadia and what's included inside the box before I open it. And I'm actually gonna turn it around. Stadia controller, Google Chromecast Ultra. The specs: Wi-Fi, dual band, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz. Uh, antenna, Bluetooth, low energy, 4.2. Uh, I didn't even know this one had Bluetooth, so the original Chromecast don't have Bluetooth, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, headset jack, 3.5. Headset jack for headsets with or with microphone, without or with microphone. USB, USB-C port for charging wire gameplay and wireless such as USB headset, HID, weight, dimensions, and then they got the assistant button and microphone because you can also use this with Google Home and Google Nest. Can you see that? Now the focus. All right, let's open it. Let's see what we got. With my trusty sidekick, got the Swiss. Ooh, messing them up with this. But we can go ahead and open it. All right, I'm trying to find the creases. Sorry for the banging. All right. I mean, it was a nice box. I mean, it's all right for them to enter the console war. It's not, it's not a console. It's not, you know, with Xbox One X series, well, the X series and the PS5 coming out. Um, it's not none of those, obviously, but this does support 4K gaming in UHD. So I'm very interested to try that. I will not be doing, oh man, look at that. I will not be doing a um, gameplay and test video on this video, but I will have the link in the description below. If you click that, that will, link will take you right to me testing it out and also playing several games on there such as 2k um pubg and games like that but further ado this is the controller this thing is definitely nice i got a little headphone jack at the bottom official google okay y'all see that official google mark on the back Got your L2, your R2, L1, R1, analog sticks. They feel, hold on, I'm gonna grab my PS4 controller. 
That's the DS4 controller. The analog sticks actually feel like its own. They don't feel like no other console. I don't have a three. I don't have a 360 or Xbox One. I don't have a 360 or Xbox One controller, but right now, from just the feel of the Switch controller and the PS4 controller, it feels different. So that's the controller. We got the white. I'm gonna show us what's in the packaging. Let me move that to the side. We got some more packaging with the USB C type cable. We got the power brick, and if I'm not mistaken, nope, that's just the power brick. Power brick. All right, we're gonna put this to the side. Oh, wait, hold up. Thank you, something else in here. It is. All right, this is what we get. Stadia. I'm gonna do it off camera first. I'm gonna move it just to make sure there ain't no pools or nothing in here that you trying to get me. Nope, just manuals. Just manuals, more packaging. All right. We also, oh, this is what they talking about. So the regular Chromecast don't come with this power brick. This power brick actually powers the Chromecast and also allows you for the 4K and the gaming. It also allows you to connect to the ether, the ethernet. It also allows you to connect to the ethernet. So that's what that is. So we got two power cables. Then, for the last but not least, we got the Chromecast Ultra. Like I said, the difference between the Ultra is one has Bluetooth, and well, the Ultra has Bluetooth and 4K UHD, so you can watch 4K videos, and the other one just obviously doesn't have those two features I mentioned. You only get 1080p at 60 frames per second, but for the most part, um, they're the same. But if you want to do some gaming on your TV, such as using the stadium or maybe even playing, you know, your phone mobile games on your TV with a controller, you would have to go to Ultra route. But that concludes this video. As I mentioned, if y'all want to see some gameplay and actually how the Stadia actually runs and works, click the link below. Stay great. Stay blessed. And show love. And I'm out.